you're doing free code camp javascript algos and data structures basic javascript challenge 108 of 113 we are super close to the end so today we are going to use the parse int function what well, kind of looks like these last couple challenges are just kind of built-in functions that are good to know so these are definitely ones you want to take note of i mean this whole this whole uh chapter really is uh all important fundamental stuff but yeah these are definitely ones you use often randomness parse int etc Okay, so the parse int function parses a string and returns an integer. So if we have a, it converts it, and we parse int 007, a is equal to the number 007, not the string. Well, 7, the integer 7, because 007 is 7. Um, so yeah, we're going to use parse int to convert an integer in a function. Uh, that takes a string input. So we have a string input and we want to convert it to an integer. This is very simple. We are simply going to return parse int capital I string. And that's all we had to do for that one. If we um, console.log run the test here you can see that it is in fact these are numbers no longer strings because they don't have the quotes um, data type conversion is pretty important definitely something you'll use pretty commonly and uh, as you can see here in the case of strings that are not numbers it returns NAN meaning not a number so yeah that's all we have to do for this challenge hope that helped hope to see you guys in the next one